Amazon just made a huge announcement that could change the future of work as we know it. CEO Andy Jassy's memo calling for employees to return to the office full time has sent shockwaves across industries. But what does this mean for workers, for businesses, and for the future of flexible work? Well, it's a lot more than just returning back to your desk. For many companies, especially post pandemic, hybrid work has been the new normal. But with Amazon pushing for a full return to the office, other major players could follow the suit. In fact, nearly 80% of the US CEOs expect corporate employees to be back in the office full time within the next three years, which is up from 34% a few months ago, according to our KPFG survey. So, are we seeing the end of remote work as we know it, or will it backfire? No, I have seen this from both sides. Having spent years at Deloitte, work from home was nothing new when the pandemic hit. We had the flexibility to work remotely whenever necessary. And this wasn't just some perk, it was built into the culture. Officially, sure, the expectation was to be in the office, but I had the freedom to work from home when I needed it. And that made all the difference. In the US, the kind of flexibility isn't unique at Deloitte. In fact, many companies had work from home arrangements long before COVID. But here's the thing. They didn't always advertise it. Now asking people who have been working remotely for years to suddenly return to the office full time feels like a step backward and it backs the question, is this the right move? Flexibility in the workplace is more than just a nice to have. It directly impacts people's lives. The pandemic proved that remote work enables parents to manage childcare, helps workers with disabilities succeed and even brought more women into the workforce. Companies like Amazon succeeded during the pandemic because of this shift, doubling their headcount in just two years. At now, the same companies are pulling back on remote policies and it could hurt them in ways they don't expect. Pre-pandemic, workers held more power with tight labor markets and competitive offers flying around. And you all know that. But with more layoffs and hiring freezes in the white collar sector, the balance of power is shifting back to the employers. And companies like Amazon and Goldman Sachs are leading the charge in pushing some of these workers back to the office, hoping for innovation, productivity, and culture building. But here's the risk. When companies enforce rigid office policies, it's often the top performers who walk away first. Personally, I get it. There are undeniable benefits to in-office collaboration. I have seen how being in the same room with colleagues sparks that creativity and drives innovation. You can enjoy those chai churchas and everything. You could have fun lunches, but flexibility is what really matters. During my years in talent acquisition, I've seen how offering remote options help companies attract and retain the top talent. Forcing a full-time office return could drive away the very employees businesses need the most, especially mid-level professionals, parents, and those with long commutes. So what's the real impact of Amazon's decision? Some executives are watching closely wondering if Amazon will lose talent or grain a company to air. And as posted on social media, one of the systems development manager at Amazon have already started looking for jobs elsewhere after the announcement was made. And that's the real danger here. Companies risk alienating the very talent that helped them succeed during the remote work era. This is more than just a company policy. It's a trend we will see more of in the coming years. And according to the survey data, fewer companies are requiring five days in the office compared to last year. But with moves like this from Amazon, others could shift course. The real change will, the real challenge will be striking a balance finding a way to maintain innovation and connection that comes with in-person work while giving employees the flexibility they have come to value. So as we look at the future of work, one thing's for sure, flexibility isn't just a trend, it's a more like a necessity and how companies adapt will determine whether the win or lose in the war for talent because there could be many companies that may be offering that as a perk that could be as attractive as Amazon is in terms of the compensation and that could be the work from home, which could be a key differentiator and a deciding factor for these employees to choose Amazon versus a different organization. So only time can speak about it. And thank you for watching Great Tales. Give it a thumbs up if you like this content and please do subscribe if you would like to hear more of such.